हेलो एवरी वन होप्स ऑल ऑफ योर फाइन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मैनअल हाइपर इन्फ्लेशन एज द नेम ऑफ माई टॉपिक इज शोइंग डैट वी विल फील मैनअली एयर इन टू द लंग्स ऑफ द पेशेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स अपरेटर्स इट्स अपरेटर्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ माउथ पीस विच इज अटैच टू द माउथ ऑफ द पेशेंट देन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रेशर गोच प्रेशर गोच इज यूज टू मयर एंड मोनिटर प्रेशर and last apparatus is inflation bag inflation bag is just like the uh, sphygmomanometer of the bp apparatus which is used to inflate uh, air into the lungs of the patient now we will discuss about technique of manual hyperinflation manual hyperinflation follows two handed technique means two hands of the physiotherapist or two hands of patient itself are placed on the mouth piece so that it can be fixed and air doesn't escape through the mouth piece then manual vibrations are given at the back side of chest we perform two handed technique because we ask patient to deep inspire and then deeply expire and when the patient deeply inspire and expire a second therapist give manual vibrations at the back side of chest of the patient and we should stop the vibrations before the patient ends his or her expiration because if we continue the manual vibrations till end of expiration and we we will stop the manual vibrations and patient has nothing to expire then automatically patient's lungs will collapse and go towards atelectasis that's why air should be present at the end of the expiration to expire out to prevent the atelectasis or collapses of the lungs now we will discuss about indications of manual hyperinflation it is used in icu patients because icu patients are on mechanical ventilators and their lungs are going towards collapse or atelectasis secretions are present in their airway and also there is airway resistance that's why this technique is performed in bed ridden patients and icu patients obviously icu patients are bed ridden patients to clear their airway to reduce the resistance of their airway and to inflate their lungs now we will discuss about types of inflation there are two types of inflation manual hyperinflation and ventilatory hyperinflation in manual hyperinflation in both condition patient is already on ventilator okay but in case of manual hyperinflation we will first remove the ventilator of the patient and then we will give manual hyperinflation and there are chances of displacement of endotracheal tube in removing and again uh, replacing the ventilator that's why it is not best for the patient but it is mostly performed because to perform ventilatory hyperinflation we need permission in ventilatory hyperinflation we doesn't remove the ventilator and uh, apply the manual hyperinflation on the same ventilator that's why it is useful but it's very difficult to perform because it needs permission to be performed and also there are no chances of displacement of endotracheal tube in ventilatory hyperinflation because in this case we doesn't remove the ventilator of the patient that's all all about our today's lecture about hyper man uh, sorry manual hyperinflation